So when Ben was first born 28 years ago, and Kristen and I were going to early childhood classes to learn how to be good parents, we were introduced to a book entitled Love You Forever by Robert Munch. It's about a little boy who's growing up and his mother's love for him. Every night through all those years when he was just driving her crazy, she would sneak into his room at night and she would sing to him. And she would sing, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, I thought about those words, Ben and Amy. Ben, we watched you grow up. Mom remembered that you were like Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory. When you wanted our attention, it was, Mom, Mom, Mom. Can't get my mind away from the thoughts of you. Two weeks ago today, you were just the girl I drew. And now I think it's time that we decide. Love is all friends, and we will be fools not to follow what our hearts suggest. So think you're over and let me know, girl, cause you and I be easier as us. Don't need three words. Amy and Ben knew each other from freshman year at St. Olaf, and years after college they, re they reconnected and Amy bought, brought Ben to the house one night to introduce him. Ben walked in and he was open and engaging and quite unabashedly gaga over Amy. And it was obvious Amy was truly smitten with Ben. And over time we found out about his strong family-oriented qualities and, and before long we were supporters and eventually cheerleaders for Ben. Out of your world and I think it's time Together we find A life of our own Together is hard when it's idle The kids were alone So think you're over Let me know, girl Cause you and I Will be easier as us Don't need three words So when I found out Ben was engaged I was a little surprised I, I think I'd only met Amy a handful of times I was like, there must be something really special uh, about this girl for him to be taking that step. And through these events the last year, I've, I've definitely gotten to see that and experience that along with him. And that's been really special. Straight to the point, straight to the heart, I knew you were I, right from the start. I know that Ben is the perfect fit. You've really shown me a different side of Amy and that's the best compliment that one can hear. I know that you'll take so much care for her and I know that you'll be great. So I wish you adorable children and an adventurous and loving marriage and endless I love you post-it notes all over your house. Amy, uh Today, I must admit, was one of the proudest days of my life. Um, to have accompanied you down the aisle and give your hand in marriage. Uh, I think you all agreed she looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I hope that you keep those vows and that through all the years together, when you are driving each other crazy, you are singing. So you're going to turn to each other, I'll help you, and you will say, my wife you will be, my husband you will be. Oh my. On the spot. I didn't realize this was happening. I know. I'll love you forever, <laughs> I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my, my husband you will be. <laughs> All right. Ben and Amy, this is our wedding wish for you. This is our hope for you. This is our prayer for you because we love you. Amen. Oh my God. Hi. You're so handsome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're looking dapper. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. 
at some point you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher, for you have learned much from one another in these last few years. Now you shall say a few words that have taken you across a threshold of life. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. The vows that you took today also mean that I am passing on my duties and responsibilities <laughs> of ensuring that Ben does not literally or figuratively cannonball into any more hot tubs. From my heart, Ben, welcome to our family. I love you. My Mimi, you will always be so precious to me from day one till day end. And who, who loves you the most is you too. Okay, love you. Lauren and I have been incredibly privileged to raise three wonderful sons. Ben, you've blazed a great trail being the eldest. I'm so proud of the man you've become. And I'm filled with gratitude for the special relationship you and I have. Uh, we give you Amy as a gift of life. She's yours now. You two are one. She's a treasure. Cherish her and love her as much as we do. Honor God first in your marriage, and Amy will respect you and love you more for it. Continue and ask and pray for God's guidance in all your marital decisions in that way. Trust in him, and your faith will be a shining lamp for Amy. Speak the truth. Lead by example with humility. You've chosen a Christian partner. Love and serve God together, and feed her soul with the right godly things. Tell her the truth. Treat her with respect. You'll be a noble man, and she will be proud to love and honor you for all of her days. And I believe that, that God is up there in the, in the heavens singing with the angelic chorus. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my children you'll be. So when I think about what it means to love someone, what it means to love someone enough to marry them. It means that you will recognize there are times when you are each driving each other crazy, but you love each other enough to commit yourselves to each other in the midst of that. In your vows in a moment, you will say, I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. Oh, I'm ready. I've never been so sure, caught so still. Gonna live my life to keep the promises I made Even though I make mistakes, I know I'm ready I found a heart that was just like mine Amy, I love you. You are my best friend. You are my best friend. And my one true love. And my one true love. Today I give myself to you. Today I give myself to you. I promise to cherish, honor, and respect you. I promise to cherish, honor, and respect you. And to always hold you in the highest regard. And to always hold you in the highest regard. I will be patient, kind, and forgiving. I will be patient, kind, and forgiving. And together we will build a life. And together we will build a life. Filled with faith, hope, and love. Filled with faith, hope, and love. These things I give you today. These things I give you today. And all the days of our life together. And all the days of our life together. Best friend is the kind of love that understands. He said he changed his life to be my man. 
so he bought a ring and took my hand He says he's ready He's never been so sure, quite so steady He's gonna live his life to keep the promises he made Even though he makes mistakes, I know he's ready For better or for Ben, I love you You are my best friend you are my best friend and my one true love. And my one true love. Today I give myself to you. Today I give myself to you. I promise to encourage, support, and inspire you. I promise to encourage, support, and inspire you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And to comfort you. And to comfort you. In times of sorrow and struggle. In times of sorrow and struggle. These things I give you today. These things I give you today. And all the days of our life together. In all the days of our life together. Just like mom Yeah, he makes me laugh And he lets me cry Oh, he listens when I lose my mind And now I get to go And please know That I will love you forever And like you for always And as long as I'm living My children will be I love you I am, I am very proud and very happy and honored to introduce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Ben and Amy Davis. Just to spend it by your side, I know I'm ready.